Tash is like, yo, yo, and all that stuff. And I turn around to check what's going on. And then everyone just goes quiet, like dead silence. Like someone just got bodied. I got a question for y'all. Y'all ever do something like so dumb in your life that it, it just leaves a scar on you? And like, I'm not talking about no mental scar, right? Okay, there's some things that might happen, but I'm talking about a physical scar, right? Like, <laughs> let me tell y'all. Uh, welcome to a new video. My name is Hyacinth. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, I'll talk about another one of my great ed experiences where I've done the literal dumbest things in my life, right? And no one forced me to do these dumb things. No, it was just of my own volition. So let's get this started. So this was around um, like term four, right? Like, okay, not term four. This was like around term three, right? And like, um, we were chilling in class, right? And our classroom had these like big windows, like really big windows, like a person sized windows, right? And like they'll be on the edge of the class, right? And like the class was like elevated a bit, so like those like it was like on st basically the class was on standing legs, right? On the side of like this other hill, right? So I'm chilling in class, teacher, we don't know what teachers were, right? They outside doing their own stuff, right? And it was at that point where like the teachers really didn't care about us that much because they were like chilling in their like office, this big office and stuff doing their own stuff dog and like we were just left there to our own devices right um i was talking to a shawty like i don't know why like almost all my videos right now always involves a, like some girl right but i'm talking to shawty right and like we're getting it on we we talking a lot you know this was like after um my like this is after i got cheated on like far after i got cheated on like check out the last video like, yeah, so, uh, we chilling nice, like, right? And then there's this grade 10, right? That pulls up to our class, right? And like this grade 10 is like those, you know, those like higher grades who like a chill with like everyone, like in the lower grades and stuff. So he was that type of nigga, right? He was chilling, he was talking, he was chilling, all that stuff, right? And so homie catches me talking to honey, right? Now, Homie pulls up to me, right? He's like, ah, I can see you two love birds are chatting it up and stuff. Can I borrow your mans for a little bit? Now she oh, like here's a code, right? If you walk up if you rock up to your boy and you see him like finessing a hand, right? Never ever ever jump to conclusions and say that they're dating. You know why? <laughs> two, three things could happen, right? That could happen after saying you assuming that they're dating. One, the hand could blush, right? That means she likes you. Two, the hand could stay quiet, but like, you know, a little, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like a little, like a little smile, like, you know, she's looking at you. Or three, she could act disgusted. Yo, oh, and guess which option happened to me? Yes, you guessed it right. Option number three happened. She was disgusted. She. She looked at me, <laughs> she looked at me like I was the most revolting thing on earth. Whoo! That broke my, that, did that not break my confidence? Ha! It shattered my confidence like a piece of glass, dog. So, Nero calls me over, right, after humiliating me in front of this honey, this honey I was trying to resolve. And like, we start play fighting, right? Uh, like, Sort of like niggas trying to test my my strength and all that stuff. Cause like remember I was a fat kid, you know. I'm not I'm not flipping Arnold Schwarzenegger that I am now. You feel me? But like I was like I was I was tiny, bro. I was I was shaped like Mordecai, dog. But like with a fat belly, cause I was still a fat kid. I was shaped like Muscle Man, right? I was shaped like Muscle Man. Yeah, that was me. That was an accurate representation of me. I was shaped like Muscle Man, right? So. Homie pulled me to the side, testing my strength and all that stuff, you know, play, like, slap boxing and stuff, just play fighting and shit, right? And, um, he breaks a window. <laughs> Nigga breaks a window, right? And, like, everyone's like, you, you, all that stuff, you know, the, the typical reactions, the NPC, the NPC reactions that you hear from, bro. So, that happens, and, like, 
the whole class is like under wraps and stuff, keeping it quiet, you know what I'm saying? And like, okay, the rest of the day continues, right? And then nigga decides to like pick up one of the broken glasses, right? Now nigga's like busy play fighting with me with a glass in hand, right? Listen to this, this is not smart, right? Do not ever play fight with me and you have a weapon in hand, right? I will retaliate and I will retaliate very painfully because you do not come up to me with a weapon and start thinking that oh be like ain't go do uh let like, me just play with this nigga and just dish a knife and just play with this nigga man nigga i'm gonna i'm gonna fight so nigga pulls up with the gloves right and i'm on my guard like i'm on some okay i don't know how to fight i got my ass beaten so many so many times but i'm still finna like you know throw hands if need be so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to dodge, I'm trying to weave and all that stuff, right? Niggas still play fighting, all that stuff. Now we go to the other window, right? Which is beside the broken one. We go to the other window. Now, guess what Mans decides to do? Mans like, push me up the window, right? And like, I'm trying to hold this man back. Like, ayo, ayo, don't, don't be trying to do all that stuff. Like, you know, you're holding one hand and you're like, yeah, 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 this, right? So, nigga starts like, nigga jab the knife. Okay, not into me, but nigga like, Jab the knife, right? All of a sudden, I pulled my head back and it was like the fastest one, not even one minute, it was the fastest 30 seconds of my life. Cause I jabbed my head back against the window. The window breaks, right? And I'm falling backwards like this, slowly but surely. I couldn't even, pro my mind couldn't process. And then nigga pulls me back, right? And like, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything. Now, I come back up, right? The whole class is like, yo, yo, all that stuff. And I turn around to check what's going on. And then everyone just goes quiet, like, dead silence. Like, someone just got bodied. Feel me? And, like, I'm checking around, like, yo, what's, what's, what's going on with the whole class, right? I'm checking myself. Like, I'm patting myself down, patting my legs, my back, everything, make sure I'm not stabbed, right? And then, like, I feel witness, right? Like, here my, like, here my arm, right? I'm feeling like, okay, something's wet. What's going on, right? And then I just like poke my finger a little bit. I just jab a little bit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. So at that time I was wearing my jacket. So I take off my jacket, right? And then I'm feeling pain a little bit, right? And then I just pull down my jacket really fast. And there have it, right? The a weird scar on my arm, right? Let me, I'm like, I'm not capping. Like if you can see, like, I'm not sure if y'all can see this. I'm not capping. There's a scar over here as busy flipping greeting me. It's like, hey, what's up, nigga? I exist. And like, I don't feel like, you no, know, it's like, I swear to G. I swear to every, I swear on my own code, right? I didn't feel anything. I did not feel anything. Like, I swear, when I mean I didn't feel anything, I didn't feel a thing, right? So now everyone's looking around and stuff. And I'm like, guys, not that deep. It's just a little flesh wound. And so I try to look like this, right? And I tap my finger in it. And then the pain just struck. I'm like, damn, what is this? I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, like I didn't, I left it, right? Cause like nothing, there's like no, there's nothing that like going on in my arm right now. And I left it. So I walk to like, my friends like guiding me, right? Holding my jacket. We walk to like, um, thingy, to like the thingy, the principal's office. Cause like the classes were like, like, like a short distance from the actual principal's office, right? I'm walking, I had to walk like real, like a little bit fast because, you know, I have like something bleeding on my arm right now. So we walk and like, we get to the principal's office where there's like a tap, right? And now, nigga opens the tap full blast. And now there's that loose skin underneath the cut, right? That just get, just tanks all the water. And that's when I felt the pain, I'm like, Wow, like I wish I could swear right now, but I can't. But that's how exactly that's exactly how I felt, bro. Like I felt the most immense pain I've ever felt in my life to that moment, dude. Like it was hell on earth, practically, dude. So like, ah, uh, like um, after like rinsing the wound, right? They took my tie and decided to like cover it up to stop to staunch the bleeding, and so from there. We took like what seemed like a five minute walk down to the flipping hostels, right? To the kitchen, like outside of the back. And like the most evilest thing 
the chef in that place could ever do, right? Please don't ever do this at home. I swear to God, do not do this at home, right? Nigga takes salt, right? And takes a bottle of warm water. Nigga flipping yeets the salt, right? <laughs> on my flipping wound. Dry salt on my wound. Feeling like I just got burnt by the sun. And then nigga tosses the warm water afterwards. I'm like, yo, nigga, what is you doing right now? Why are you throwing salts on my wound and then the warm water instead of mixing it together? Which is the most, like, ghetto type of shandas I've ever experienced in my life. Throwing salt and then the warm water, right? Okay, okay. And like, worst part, right? The, the back side of the kitchen was also like the entrance for the girls in our hostel. The girls hostel, right? To go into the kitchen. So there was a girl that was absent from school that day, right? And she was sitting in the hostel because she was sick. Now, you can imagine my 13 year old brain, right? Not 13, by that time I was 14. You can imagine my 14 year old brain thought of every swear word I could ever find in a book and I just added it in a short span of five minutes. Everything from English to Zulu to Afrikaans to like a little bit of French, right? To Swati to Twana swear words. I was just flipping swearing like a like a flipping mixed race like sailor dude like a mixed race pirate i was on that and just like ah beep ah beep, beep like dude and like the hand in the hostel right i was like hi man i got told when i piss off i'm like okay i can't say it. piss off when i told i'm like now nah, your mother i'm like Phew. now that i think back at it that i was kind of like ruthless and i was like hey you your mother as well it was like a back and forth of swearing until like like the bleeding managed to stop and like you could see like like a whole lines of like where the blood used to like drip right it was just dried and like they called my mom of course of course the moment they saw this right they called my mom the principal's office they called my mom um it took like a good like 30 minutes to drive to where i had so i was like i was busy sitting there holding my arm like this straight out right and so like i was just sitting there waiting for my mom she pulls up like I went straight home First we went straight home because my mom was like a nurse, right? So, so she passed me up a little bit like, you know, DIY type of situation And then we went straight to the hospital Now Let me tell you this in South Africa When you have an emergency, unless you're physically dying They don't give, they don't give a damn about you, nigga I'm serious Because I sat there for like, seemed to be 20 Like after they, they came to me check what's wrong, right? I sat there for like next to 40 minutes with my arm holding my arm like this, I was standing there for like next to like 40 minutes. I'm like, damn. I got I got cut by glass. I got cut by hot sand. God, I was burnt <laughs> on top of that and now I'm sitting here. Damn. Okay, that happened. The doctor pulled up, um, stitched me up nice. Um, you know what I'm saying? The, the usual work and stuff, but. Now, it was the most like awkward 40 minutes of my life because I'm busy chilling with my mom and like I had to explain to my mom why why exactly was it that I got cut and like I really did not feel like explaining because it was like the dumbest thing in my life I can't feel it was like the dumbest reason I ever got stitches in my entire life bro but yeah jeez and like the nigga that like you know got me in this situation right i didn't press charges on the nigga honestly speaking because like the the like the heart of this nigga he was chill like it wasn't his intention to like stab me or cause these problems of course i didn't press charges because it didn't feel right and shit bro but yeah that was the that was the case of how like i flipping got this nigga right here you feel me hey 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 glad you made it to the end of the video and thank you for watching you know if you feel like this was a funny experience hit like and subscribe and then come back later so you can hear more of me talking you know i love seeing you guys more and more you know what i'm saying and the bigger the more people there are the bigger the community grows i you know road to like a hundred subscribers you feel me i'm still trying to get that big zero zero with a one in front of it so uh yeah i'm gonna see y'all niggas later uh peace out And like the nigga that that like the nigga that got like uh and like 